Good evening, I am Dr. Akl. I am a practicing physician uh, in Flint. I treat cancer patients. Uh, today's topic will be on prostate cancer. Uh, prostate cancer uh, is uh, a disease very common uh, on men. As a matter of fact, by the age of 90, 60% of biopsies to the prostate will be positive for uh, prostate cancer. Uh, however, uh, this cancer does not lead to uh, killing uh, patients in the majority of cases. Uh, in the United States, about yearly diagnosis of prostate cancer fluctuate between 250 to 300,000 and uh, on new cases and uh, 30 per uh, about 30,000 die of prostate cancer every year. Uh, it's important to uh, early diagnose it, as with any other cancer, uh, and treat it uh, uh, properly. Uh, or uh, there is what we call it surveillance. I will talk to you about it as well. <coughs> uh, uh, screening uh, yet to show increased survival in prostate cancer, even though everyone undergo PSA test, which is recommended, but uh, so far uh, it did not result in increased survival. Uh, small uh, studies uh, in uh, high-risk uh, patients like African-American uh, showed that might be some uh, survival advantage for undergoing uh, PSA screening for prostate cancer. Uh, again, uh, th those studies are small and a uh, lot of bias, uh, but the take-home message is uh, screening so far did not result in uh, increased survival for prostate cancer, and it is recommended also. You need to understand that. Uh, those patients with high PSA or prostatic sp specific antigen, those patients with high PSA a need to have biopsy to their prostate. I before I last one of the last sessions I explained the absolute value of PSA not necessarily important. The more relevant value is increased in PSA on regular tests. For example, uh, if the patient PSA is 5 and uh, has been 5 for years and years and he has large prostate, we understand that, the, that PSA is a reflection of the size of the prostate and if it stayed there for years and years, I would not worry about it. Uh, on the other hand, if the patient PSA 2 and has been slightly increased to 2.5 every year and so 3, and so, that's more relevant and that patient need to have biopsy uh, because the increase in PSA would be more significant uh, than uh, a higher value stayed the same. Like uh, the, if it's 2, 2.5, 3 and so on, that's more significant than if it is 5 and stayed 5 forever. Infection and other, in other inflammatory conditions would increase PSA. In those circumstances, usually the PSA go very high, especially for acute infections. Uh, for chronic infections, sometimes it build up uh, like an abscess and the PSA steadily keep going up. So it's so important to do biopsy. You cannot diagnose prostate cancer based on increased PSA. 
you only diagnose prostate cancer based on tissue diagnosis, meaning a needle cut a small core from the prostate and the pathologist look under the microscope and they see cancer there. Then yes, you call it cancer. But PSA, increasing PSA or high PSA, all these do not indicate cancer. I will tell you when they indicate cancer, they only indicate cancer if the patient already have cancer and had surgery, for example, or radiation, and the PSA start to increase. If you have three increases, that confirm a recurrence. If you do three months or two months apart, and yes, it continue to increase, that means this patient has cancer. In those already uh, diagnosed with prostate cancer and had treatment, we call it recurrent cancer. But for upfront PSA values, need to have biopsy. Once you have biopsy and you confirm the diagnosis of cancer, then patient need to be seen and the option of the patient treatment need to present it to him. These options are surgery, removal of the prostate, or radiation, or watchful waiting. Those are the three main uh, therapy for prostate cancer. If the uh, urologist feels this, this is a good candidate for surgery, uh, or the radiation oncologist feels this is a good candidate of uh, radiation, or uh, both feel that this is a good case of observing uh, or what we call it surveillance. Just no, no treatment, just follow the blood test for those patients, usually the PSA. Just follow the PSA on a regular basis uh, and that will be uh, to watch if they s keep increasing, if they stay the same, uh, what, uh, what uh, is the age of the patient, how is the condition of the patient and so on. Those are the three options. Those options need to be discussed with the patient in great details in terms of benefits versus side effects, pros and cons, and the patient is the one to make the decision. If the patient decides to go for surgery, that's a good treatment, provided the patient understands the benefits versus side effects. If the patient decided to go for radiation, that's also a good option. If the patient decided to go for watchful waiting, if he fulfill the criteria of watchful waiting, that's also a good option. You need to understand these options should not compromise the cure. The cure should be the same, whether patient go for surgery or radiation or watchful waiting your survival should be identical and should not compromise. And those three options are valid and good options. If you decide to go for surgery, that's good option. If you decide to go for radiation, that's good option. If you have decided to go for watchful waiting, that's also a good option, provided your physician thought or think that you are a candidate for that. Today, I will focus my topic for those patients decided to go for radiation treatment. I'll explain to them what are the options of radiation treatment and what option suits them and so on. Radiation could be given from outside, different angles to the prostate, patient lying in a table, machine rotates around the patient and they treat the prostate from different angles. Patient does not feel anything. It's like having chest x-ray, you don't feel anything. And it takes about a few minutes, three, four minutes, then patient finish treatment and that's it. And patient come every day for about eight weeks, five times a week, a few minutes a day. We call it external beam radiation or external radiation and uh, that's a good treatment. We uh, now have what we call it intensity modulation radiation therapy, IMRT. You hear that? What's IMRT? You modulate the intensity of radiation just to hit the prostate 